Hello, it's Annie Collins for the Makers Movement. Today we'll be creating this slimline shaker card. Let's go over the products we'll be using. The Makers Movement Petite Posies die set. This die set contains four leaves, a variety of flowers, and several centers to the flowers. We'll also be using the Notes of Love stamp set. This stamp set has a variety of sentiments, but we'll be pulling to, putting together the You Are My Sunshine sentiment. And we'll be also using the little banner right here for our sentiment. I'm going to set these items to the side so we can go over the rest of what we're going to do today. I went ahead and stamped and die cut our flowers and sentiment. For our flowers, I used some Canson watercolor paper and two sets of water palette, a regular one and a shimmer one. And I just did splotches and then splattered on some shimmer color for some texture. And then I die cut the leaves and the flowers. For our card, this is a seven by eight and a half, scored at three and a half to create our slimline card. For our card panel, which we're gonna create for our shaker, I die cut three squares into a uh, piece of, okay, a three by eight and a half panel. And then I added some acetate in the back. We're gonna be adding some foam to the back of that. So we're gonna um, add some texture to our flowers by curling them. I'm gonna use a flower tool, that's what this is here, to, add, to curl our flowers or curve them. Now, that's just gonna add some nice texture. If you don't have a flower tool, you can use your um, stylus or even your a pen <laughs> that's empty that you know and then you just what you're gonna do is you're gonna push in the center of your flowers and I just have a little mat here a little cushion you can use some foam to curl the flowers for the tulips I use I curl them on the back so that gives them a nice texture I do the same to the leaves just continuously so I'm just gonna continue to do this to all the flowers and for the leaves again I do it on the back it gives it a nice texture I'm gonna do this to all the flowers and leaves to just give them a nice little curve and texture so they will add some nice dimension to our card. Now I'm gonna set these aside along with our sentiment and we're gonna work on our panel. We need to add some foam adhesive all around the perimeter and those center sections to create the boxes for our shaker. I'm just using some thin foam tape here. Now the Maker's Movement has some foam adhesive, um, some craft foam for this, but it's a bigger piece and you would have to cut it down. I ran out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this thin foam tape that I have from my stash to create this uh, shaker card today. So I'm adhering all the foam all around, making sure I have a nice tight fit because we don't want our shaker bits to fall out. I put that one too low, so I'm gonna adjust it here real quick. And I think I have one more piece on the end and we should be ready to start making our shaker card. And we want it nice and firm, nice fit here so that our bits again don't fall out. Although I'm putting pretty big pieces in here, but I just still wanted to make it secure. So I'm going to go ahead and get my card panel and place it down. I'm going to put a small piece of, of washi, rolled up washi tape in the inside to keep my card flat so it doesn't move up like this and spill everything all over the place. And that's only while I'm working on it. So now I'm gonna grab some sequins and I'm gonna put in some gold sequins and some uh, white sequins or pearlescent I should say, they're more pearlescent. 
these are gold sh uh, sh holographic squares and I have some round gold pieces as well so I'm making three little piles to fit within our three little windows and you can put as much or as little um, sequence as you would like I want a nice amount but not too much where they can't shake around now I'm going to remove the uh, adhesive backing to my acetate window but before I do that I have too much static so I'm going to take my powder tool and I'm going to drop just a little bit of powder on each of the windows I'm also going to use a soft paintbrush and rub that on there the powder that'll take some anti it's an anti-static powder so I'm, it'll take the static away however it gives it a little too much cloudy so I just rub my finger and remove any extra now I'm removing the back of the adhesive liner I remove all of it making sure that it's all good. There I am taking off the extra powder because it's too much. It's making my windows cloudy. Scoot this over and place it. You still have some static, but it's not as much as it was before. Now pressing firmly on all the sides to make sure that the foam is in full contact with the card panel. Making sure all my beast bits and pieces shake and I do so now we're going to bring back our flowers we're going to get some adhesive and we're going to start adhering our flowers to the top right hand corner and I start with my tulip and I think I'm going to put it sideways but then I change my mind and I'm going to add see I take it out I'm going to add the bigger flowers first and then I'll uh, put it slide in my tulip. I add a little more adhesive, slide it in, and then I'll add some leaves. So I want a longer leaf and then a shorter leaf. I'm going to One is like a tall, long leaf. Basically, it's for your tulips. And then the other ones are regular leaves for your flowers. I'm going to, I'm sorry, out of focus right here, or out of the camera, I should say. Um, I'm doing the same thing with the smaller flowers. Right here on the right, on the center bottom section. I'm putting two of the little leaf, two of the little flowers and a small leaf. There, I show you. I show you, and I realize I'm now back in camera. <laughs> so I'm going to add the same thing now to the bottom left-hand corner: two large leaves, a tulip, two flowers, a tulip, and two leaves. And then I'll add the other two small leaf, two small flowers, and leaf to the top center box and since our flowers are nice and curled it adds such a nice dimension to our card and add our last little leaf bring it up to show you there we go So I want to add some centers to our flowers. So I'm going to choose some. I was thinking I was going to use these flat enamel dots, but I changed my mind and I'm going to pull in some jewels. And I'm going to add some jewels, larger jewels to each of the bigger flowers and some tiny jewels to each of the small flowers. And I basically mixed up the colors. I just used the same colors, some purples, some blues and pinks. And some yellows to all of our flowers so 
trying to get those centers in there. Even with the jewel picker, sometimes it gets a little difficult to get them centered in. So now we're going to do the same thing to the small ones. What I'm going to use for jewels for my center, small ones are actually um, nail decor. Because they're really tiny jewels for you can decorate your nails. Well, I use them to decorate flowers. Especially these tiny little flowers. These jewels are petite. We'll get a close-up here in a moment once I'm done putting the little jewels in. Shaker cards are so much fun and now that you can create them in all different sizes from slim line like this to A2 and, and more. So for our sentiment, I went ahead and stamped it on yellow cardstock, well actually yellow pattern paper, and with VersaFine Clear um, ink, and I fishtailed the banners on the smaller you are my. So there you can see the little jewels. And on the centers of the big flowers. So thank you so. So th this is our finished product. This is our finished card. It shakes wonderfully. And again, let's we went we use the Maker's Movement Petite Posies die set with the centers, the leaves, and all the flowers. The Notes of Love stamp set. And we use that lovely banner for our sentiment. I also use a square uh, die that I didn't feature here. But I'll have all the products listed in the description box below. I hope you can stop by in the Maker's Movement shop and see if you can like something there. Thank you so much for being here today. If you like this um, video, give me a thumbs up. And if you like everything I do, please feel free to subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here today. Until next time.